San Diego. Probably. All right, everybody. All right, just to introduce those of y'all that uh, haven't met Robert, hopefully you don't know him too well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Robert Finley is here to talk about the PARS uh, knowledge base, which is essentially uh, an amalgamation of all the knowledge we gather, being in a support role, um, getting to know you guys' infrastructure, and uh, he's going to try and cross-pollinate this as much as possible. That's, that's a big word. Okay. All right. Um, let's start off with a quick show of hands. Who in this room has a login account for their Enterica knowledge base already? Three and a half, Arvo? Arvo's up four? All right. Not bad. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't? All right. <laughs> Fine. Let me say this. Everybody take a look in the back room at the young man in the purple shirt. He has a sign up sheet. He has a sign up sheet and he will take Yeah, yeah, that guy right, right there. He will t he will get you login accounts. Um, he will get you the credentials to log into the knowledge base website that I'm just about to show you. And what I will do right now is tell you why you should give him your email and get an account pass to this. Alright, pass it around if you like. Alright, product knowledge base. Did you know? Um what are the benefits to you of the Enterica knowledge base? Immediate answers. Everybody here likes immediate answers to their technical problems or technical issues. 24-7 access to critical information that you will need. It provides you with the latest bulletins, um, related information to the Enterica software. It has a very sophisticated search capability that enables you to search more quickly, more efficiently for the information that you're looking for. Provides consistency and accuracy by providing everybody here the same important information that, um, that you need. There will be no, there's no chance of anybody getting mixed signals or might be getting different information. And it allows the Enterica support team, us, to keep up with important issues in the field. And what this means is, uh, Umberto, you might look up an article, a knowledge base article, on uh, an Oracle issue that you have, and, and you don't know that Lisa and Christy two days later looked up the same article, and Arvo three days later looked up the exact same article. Um, but I do know through this knowledge base that in the last week or so, this article has been looked up so many times, and I feel like the NSA all of a sudden. I know what you're looking up. Um, and then what the support team can do is we can reach out to Jim, the development manager, Lawrence, and say, hey, look, we're starting to see this issue popping up in the field. And you know, let's, let's see if we can do something about it. All right, and most importantly, it will enhance your Enterica product support experience. All right, so what we have now, the current support, we have telephone and email, which is the bulk of what we do here. And I think everybody, most people in the, this room used one or the other or both. Um, On-site visits, Doug and myself, we, at some point in the week, or at some point in time, we're in your office sitting down doing something. And we have the knowledge base as well. And that's what we're, that's what I'm going to show you right now. Demo time. <coughs> the link to the knowledge base right here. I will just bypass this and go straight to it. Give me just a second to... Here we are. The Enterica Knowledge Base. Your home page. This lists the top solutions. Um, we've got four solutions at the moment, and this is all determined by the you know, number of hits, the number of times that these are looking, being looked at on the web page. These will always be the latest information that people are interested in at the moment. Um, not much on the home page, so we'll go straight to the sophisticated search capabilities. All right, let's take a look at this. Um, we have a simple search field. We have bulletins. We have the different products listed. And we have PARs, we have IDS, we have Smart Move as well. And that's it. That is very, that's simple and sophisticated. I like that. So let's 
let's take a look at, let me do a quick search here. Um, I mentioned Oracle earlier. Let's take a look at Oracle. Oracle. And we will search all solutions. And we come back <coughs> with it. All right, here we go. I'm going to switch sides so I can see what it is we have over here. You should know about What's that? You should know about uh, I, I, They change. I mean, they move up and down. All right, what I see, I see something right now, and I, I see this in emails often. Um, take a look at this one. Which files need to be changed when an Oracle server is changed? Um, we've, a lot of us have had this experience. Simply, um, an important piece of information, let's click on it and see what it says, just so you guys can have an example. You don't need to see what it says, but you can see what these knowledge base articles look like. Knowledge base article. List the files. And Christy, I think you had this question recently as well. Yes, I did. Right? All right. This, this is what I mean. This will give everybody the correct information that they need. I think that's where it came from. Oh, no. That is not the case. All right, let's take a, let's take a look at bulletins I noticed earlier. See what bulletins we have listed here at the top. We have Enigma Product Support Bulletin 2012 R5000 Oracle 11 Upgrade Information. Let's take a quick look at that. I mean, this is the latest, greatest information that our, our people are putting out there. Um, okay, R5000 upgrades. Anybody's thinking about upgrading Oracle with their R5000 application? Very important information here that you should know about, or your R5000 team should know about as well. But ahead of time, this is the type of information that you should know about, and this is this. Um, knowledge base is a very easy and quick way for you to just type in an oracle, search everything, and you get this information. Do y'all, on a regular basis, go out there and update your procedures? Because what we have found in our experience is we get a procedure on how to do something, but it's a 3.6 procedure, and we're running 3.8, and well's not good where question. it used to be. Very good question. We do. However, obviously, we might miss an article or two. It is it's possible. I mean, we keep up with this. Um, the development team, the support team, both here in the U.S. and U.K., keep up with this. But it is possible that um, with a new update, we might have missed an article. And if that happens, just let us know. You can use this to let us know. All right? Any questions? Anybody? All right. Just be sure, sometime today, um, before we break out of here, uh, put your name on the sign-up sheet, and Doug will get you a login credentials, and it's all handled by email at that point. You will get emails, and you can try it in. Umberto, if it doesn't work, just let us know, and we'll get it to work for you. All right? All right, good. Thank you. And I think Doug is our next presenter. Uh, I think we're going to switch back. We're going to switch laptops again.